Waiheke locals and late night drinking buddies. Five Piece band Aaron Carpenter and the Revelators are set to release their debut album Pretty Lies and to set off on a nationwide tour. Here to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe in the Harvey Norman Lounge, Aaron Carpenter. Oh, oh. Oh, hey, really nice to have you in the studio. Tell me a little bit of how you got into this. Um, just as a young kid, uh, sneaking into bars in Ponsonby and around town and with my harmonica and trying to talk my way onto stages and, <laughs> and these old guys going, yeah, well, not so old back then. So, yeah, I jump up and have a play. Really? So what sort of guys? Oh, uh, there was Midge, Midge Marsden and Hammond Gamble and oh, wow. Gary Harvey. And, wow. And I was, you know, young and full of, you know... Beans? Beans. And, I, <laughs> and they said, yeah, jump up. Well, it's nice of them to throw you a bone. We've described your music as swamp rock. Uh, you know, would mm. that be a fair description? Well, with this album, we've tried to keep, keep, I've tried to keep away a little bit from the blues. Right. Um, but, yeah, there are certain amounts of blues uh, in there. So what, what is exactly swamp rock? Well, I know Tony Joe White's swamp rock, and he played at the Tuning Fork not long ago. And it's kind of slightly darker blues. It's not, you know, happy, kind of jumpy, round, kind of that sort of thing. It's a little bit more swampy and darker, I guess. Um, you know what it reminds me of? Uh, oh, I've totally forgotten the name of the show now. The one with the vampire. And oh, there's Pat lots. <laughs> blood, true, true blood, blood. That kind of, that yeah, kind of vibe yeah, to it. It could be a little bit like that, yeah. Do you want to give us a bit of a go? Yeah, like? yeah, I'd love to hear it. Because, you know, when I listen to your music, I hear a little bit of Pink Floyd sometimes in there as well. Yeah, the know? album has got touches there. Ah, uh, nice. OK, good. So, you know, you give us a bit of a whirl. Up on my knees. The woman to the left of me, woman to the right. What the hell are they seeing me? My friends are down for the rhyme for no reason, and it scares me out of my mind. Should it really happen to someone like me? Not to the beautiful, courageous, and the kind. This comes across the river, about to pound me. Gonna crawl to the shore. I love your work, and you know, every time I hear your music, I just it puts me in a really nice mood. Although some of the songs can be dark, it puts me in a really nice mood, just chilling. And mm. I did write a song about a werewolf for my kids. That's pretty up there. So oh yeah, quite, oh, quite, that's great. Quite Imagine happy. your dad that could write songs about werewolves for you. That'd be well, cool. no, well no, that's it too, because I guess you have to go through a few, uh, you know, relationship dramas to get some good music. Is that what inspires yeah. you when you're writing? Is it all about what's going on in your life? Yeah, I, I sort of pick up songs from from lines that people have said, you know, you know, and something will stick and I'll go, oh, that's, that's a cool line and I'll have a riff and then base the song around, around that line. And so, so do your friends actually go, when they listen to your music, and go, no, I had that conversation <laughs> with them and that yeah. was what I said to Aaron about this and now it's in a song. Yeah, there's a couple of people who have said that. Yeah. <laughs> and is this your first sort of solo attempt at an album? Uh, well, we're, I've, this is my first, I've been on other albums before, but this is an album which is solely the songs that I've written and taken to the band and I've helped to um, put them into, a, into an album, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, we're so pleased because I, know, I guess, would you be described as a vagabond musician? You know, where you um, previously worked with a whole lot of other cool people. I have worked with some really cool people and that's been, really, that's been a good part of it. And I did a lot of travelling as a, in my 20s and a lot of busking and I uh, got a bit carried away with travelling and came back to Waiheke by mistake and then bought a yacht and sailed back there and thought, no, oh, this is me for a while, I think. Really? Yeah. So have you got a yacht now? Yeah, I've still got a little... What's your yacht, boat? Uh, it's a uh, Raven 26, and oh. it's called Firelight. So where did you go on that? Um, well, I've been all over the place, mostly up to the barrier and to the Bay of Islands, but I recently sailed up to Fiji in a friend's boat. Wow, um, oh, nice. Just as this album was being finished. And so, so being on the water is a great vibes, isn't it? So, mm. so, what a girl. Yeah. So where would be your favourite place that you busked? Uh, I spent a lot of time busking in Dublin, and I really love Dublin. If it wasn't for the weather, I'd probably still be there. Yeah. <laughs> You're living the life, aren't you? The yeah. back of boats, great music, great company. Yeah. Speaking of company, how did your band get together? Um, John Hawksby. Um, yes. He was putting a fundraiser together with a guy called Bruce Plested, who owns Main Freight, and they were trying to stop the marina from going ahead. Oh, and, yeah, that's and, right. And John rang me and said, I want you to put a band together to play at this fundraiser down at Pymelon Bay. So I just rang up all the people that I wanted to be in a band with on Waiheke and some of the people I'd played with before. And we started practicing in this barn up, up the top there and we played this festival and it was a really big success. And then after the festival, 
the guitarist said, have you got any of your own songs? And I said, yeah, I have. So, sort of, by mistake, it sort of happened wow. like that. I love the way you have like, yeah. a great lot of things happening by mistake in your life. It go really, yeah. really well. So your debut album, Pretty Lies, is out uh, this Friday. What can we expect to hear on it? Um, kind of a Tom Waitsy kind of feel, a little bit uh, Nick Cavey. Oh, I love Nick Cavey. Um, we got we got a, a great singer called Nikki Natai who's up the front with me on stage and she's got a beautiful voice. Well that was the thing, you know, once I started clicking through some of your clips I got sucked mm -hmm. into that vortex of just watching the next one after the next one after the next one. Oh, so really excited you. about this tour, really excited about this yeah, album. We yeah. felt we're really excited about hitting the road and doing a few different places. So. Oh, yeah. Aaron, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, you've got to go and see these guys, OK? Yeah, yeah, go and see them. Love your guitar too, it's done some miles. Aaron <laughs> Carpenter and the Revelators' debut album Pretty Lies is out this Friday, and you can get more details on their tour from undertheradar.co.nz.